The owl will be mounted on a tripod. This will provide a stable base for the owl and allow you to move it easily around the room. Of course, the owl can be removed from the tripod if you need to place it on the ground for circle time or on a table. Knowing that many of the rooms will have a limited amount of furniture, having a tripod to provide a stable base for the owl is extremely important. We want to avoid the owl falling off a table and cracking any of the components. So every tripod comes with a plate attached at the top. This plate is removable. To remove the plate, there's generally a latch on one side of the uh, top of the tripod. If you release this latch, this will allow you to remove the mounting plate. So to attach the mounting plate from the tripod to the owl, you simply will align the screw into the screw hole. This takes a little practice because you need to push with enough force to allow the screw to grab the threads inside the hole. Sometimes it helps if you turn the mounting plate in a different direction in order for it to grab those threads. Once the mounting plate is installed, you should be able to lift and hold the owl by the mounting plate. The owl and the mounting plate can now be reinserted back onto the tripod. You'll notice the bottom of the mounting plate has a square section to it. This can actually be installed on the tripod in any direction. So it can go this way, this way, this way, or this way. So if you sort of stick it into the uh, tripod, you press it down, and then you're going to lock, lock the plate to the tripod using the latch. Most tripods have two places where you can extend the legs. The bottom one, if you open the latch, will allow you to pull down the bottom leg. And then the second one will allow you to pull down the second section. You can for example, only pull down one of the sections. If you want the owl to be mounted not quite as high in your spaces. Once you extend the three legs, you should tighten the bracket in the middle of the tripod. This will allow the tripod to stay secured and not fold up onto itself. There is a level on the top edge of the tripod that you can use to confirm that the tripod itself is level in your space. There are a number of knobs and controls on the top of the tripod. The knob on the far left allows you to lock in position the rotation of what's mounted on the tripod. If I tighten this knob, I can no longer turn the owl on top of the tripod. This knob at the, at the back side above the handle, this allows you to lock or unlock the ability of the device attached to rotate. I don't see many reasons why you would need to rotate your owl to look like this. There is also a knob built into the handle. If you unscrew the handle, this loosens the ability of the tripod to move forward and backward. Obviously, you would not want to adjust this where the, the owl is going to fall forward or backward. So you will want to leave this fairly tight. The last adjustment you can make has to do with the height of the tripod. Now, I mentioned before you can adjust the three legs to be longer or shorter. But you can also adjust the top edge of the top part of the tripod. If you loosen this knob, and then you use this nice control to raise the tripod up or lower the tripod. If you want to lock it in this position, if you let go of this, it may lower by itself. It may not, but it's a good idea to tighten this knob again so the tripod stays in that position. You'll need to adjust the height of the tripod and the three legs to best suit your classroom. 